so today it's going to be the solar panels um so i'll be working up on the roof today it's a dry day so hopefully it don't rain um i'm gonna try and do the solar panels today because then tomorrow i want to start doing the first fix electrics uh start getting everything in place so then we can continue with the insulation inside and get everything insulated then hopefully fingers crossed so I'll go straight up to the top now. As you can see behind, I've already started trying to work out where everything's roughly going to start going. Um, while it's white, while it was raining, so yeah, I was right. As soon as I went out there, it started raining. So I'm going to come inside now, and I'm going to start trying to do the first fix electrics, and just like get everything in place ready. And then hopefully tomorrow it won't rain so I can get up and do the solar panels at least I can get everything ready where the wires are going to so it's all ready for tomorrow so okay so while it's raining outside what I'm going to try and do now is I'm just going to make sure that everything works <laughs> um, so basically I've gone for the the five-way gang fuse board which is on eBay for $16.99 and in that you get the two USB ports your voltage reader and your 12 volt socket there obviously you've got your five switches as well so then on the back of that you've got all the inline fuses for it so I'm going to have a go at checking that. I've also bought a dim switch as well for the lights. Um, cause obviously, because I'm having spotlights on the ceiling, um, I just like the option of having to turn them down, being able to turn them down over night time, especially when the kids are in bed. Um, I've got the inline fuses. I've bought a few just little cheap um, LED strips, which I'm going to check to see. I don't even know what colour they are, so I'll check to see what they work, how they work. And there's my buzz bar for all the negatives off the fuse board. So I'm going to go ahead now and make sure this works. So with the, the fire gang switch panel, basically you get a positive and negative that run to the battery. On there I've, I've added inline fuses. Um, I've hinged, um, stuck them together and then I've heat shrinked wrapped them. And then on top of there as well for a bit of added security, I have also used insulation tape, a bit overboard, but see there's one there with just the um, heat shrink wrap. Um, so all the positives are all fused as well. So if any of them cut out, they're all individually fused already. On the ends of them, I'm using the wire, block wire connectors, which is so much easier because what you simply do is just lift up. There you go, it comes off straight away. So on there, I'm just going to do a little diagram. So basically you have got, sorry about the drawing. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five switches. Your cigarette port, your voltmeter, and your USB sockets as well. And then on there, you've got your five positives, which will then go to things like your lights and your TV, your fridge, your call box, anything. So on there, I'll just be having lights for now so then from there all of me negatives safe from me lights I will be having a buzz bar which then connects all of the negatives together in one place um, and then there'll be a wire going straight to the battery
Um, and then from there, obviously, it'll be earthed to the chassis of the van. So, you can use a terminal block for this, which are cheaper. But I just found this one with a buzz bar would be easier to do. And then that then will be connected up close to the battery and all my other controls. Right then, so I managed to quickly set it all up just to check it. And I've got the dimmer set up. Um, then in the back of it, see the lights connect to the output positive and negative, which are these two. And then this goes down and the positive is connected to a wire block and then the next one then is obviously connected to the lights and then obviously the negative is also done the same as well so we've got the lights going into there and then the, the, the other wire which is connected to the LED controller dim, dim switch then from the dim switch, which is the input, the positive and the negative, which is then running down to, I've got the negative going to my buzz bar, which will then be connected to the battery. And then the positive then goes to another wire block which is then also connected to the fuse board which should be that switch hope yeah right so this switch now the, the five gang fuse board i'll quickly set up like a, an isolation switch so that's off and turn it that's on so on the back of there, as you can see, the positive which comes out of this got connected to the back. And then the next one then is connected, which will then go to the positive on the battery. So you'll understand why I put an isolation switch on it shortly. So what I'll do is I'll connect these up. So temporary all set up. Got the positive connected, the negative connected. Don't be confused by the red. It's just the inline fuse, which I promise is connected to the negative there. And then we have the earth, which, uh, sorry, it's the negative for the buzz bar. And obviously we've got the lights connected, only one connected because we're just checking out the lights. And then the positive wire is going down to the isolation cutoff switch, which then goes to the board. So that's working. And then if you turn on the switch for the lights, the dim switch is just turned on, which turns it on and off. What I do is I'll close the door. So if we turn that back on, you can see the lights are rather bright and blue. Try and put them in the darkest area. So they are pretty bright. And obviously dim switch is working. So that's all good. Yep. Turn them off. Turn the switch off. As you can see, the light still stays on showing the voltage. So that is the reason why there is the isolation switch because to stop the permanent power coming through when we're not using the van or when we're asleep. Simply turn it it's off no more power coming through and when we wake up or come back into the van just simply turn it back on 
simples. So what I'll do is I'll do a quick diagram of how I've just done it. So you've got your fuse board with your one, two, three, four, five switches, and then USB boards, your voltmeter, and then off that I had the lights. Just pretend that's a light. First class drawing, and then your negative from this. I took it to a buzz bar, and then the buzz bar negative then goes to the negative on the battery, and the battery then connects to. The chassis of the van so it's earthed and ground and then the positive of the battery I took it to an isolation switch before going to the fuse board then obviously if you have more lights or a TV or anything two three four five they then do whichever but then all the negatives off it go to your buzz bar and then the same earth just your battery you can earth this you can earth the buzz bar to the chassis of the van which is fine and you can also earth to the chassis of the van from the negative so say if this is your TV and it's the other side of the van you could still earth it to the chassis of the van from where the TV is rather than carrying your negative to the buzz bar or to the battery so this way is easier because it saves having so many earth points on the van and it's easier to all get to see so if there is any problems with any of your appliances or your lights all your negatives are connected in one spot so rather than behind your ceiling or your walls and so forth so to me this just seems an easier way of earthing all your negatives together in one place Thank you.